saying that uh, one in five um, uh, Muslims are terrorists and Jihadis. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, the thing about the, the, the Guardian is that they were kind of like looking down on the sun saying they were being really, um, you know, plebeian and stuff like that. But they were, looking, they were doing a lot of jokes about it. And so, um, you know, I was personally, like, horrified that they thought that it was, it was funny to actually, um, uh, you know, Try to criticize, try to do the right thing by criticizing Islamophobia, but at the same time, you know, doing it like it, you know, never happened to them. And of course, if they were white journalists, it wouldn't have, wouldn't happen to them anyway. But the, the winner. No, 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 no. You just want to say your one, yeah, which is uh, yeah, my one. Okay. Uh, so the winner is uh, from the uh, publication called the, the Globe and Mail, uh, which is a Canadian uh, publication. And of course, they got uh, you know, Justin Trudeau over there, so they must be okay. Um, and uh, this is uh, by a journalist called uh, Margaret uh, Wendt. Uh, what she's trying to do, which is quite bizarre, is that she's trying to compare uh, the case of uh, Rachel Dolezal, who was um, a, um, you know, I didn't even remember, she was a white woman who, uh, you know, sort of uh, did a little bit of uh, tanning and uh, did her hair, you know, curls, you know, passed herself off as um, an NAACP um, activist for, for quite a while. Now, as you know, I'm sure you kind of like were looking at Twitter and um, uh, social media and all the rest of it at the time, and uh, you know, there was unified condemnation, particularly from African Americans. Everyone was just like thinking, what the fuck is going on? Do you know what I mean? But there was this woman, uh, who was white, who actually knows better. So, what she's doing is that she's actually taking one or two uh, black journalists uh, who've written, uh, you know, on the case, and, um, you know, sort of saying that they're wrong and I'm right. But she hasn't actually provided much evidence from any person who happens to be black that, that they actually agree with, with her, which is, uh, which is quite bizarre. But even more bizarre than that, uh, she has actually decided that she's going to make a comparison between uh, this case of Rachel Dolezal and uh, Caitlyn Jenner, or uh, Bruce Jenner, and actually say that the idea that you can get, um, you know, um, uh, gender is fluid because you can move between a man and a woman, or a woman and a man, is kind of the same as moving between black and white, which is just, uh, just completely bizarre. So uh, I think that uh, Margaret Webb uh, from the Globe and Mail is a deserved winner, and I think to put her into the shredder. Let's only take one at a time. Might be one at a time. I think one at a time, yeah. Oh, you want to shred it. I can't shred it. This is, this is literally unshreddable. Try again, try again. Yeah, it's on now. Shred, 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 this one's a corker. Um, it's already been referred to, um, and it's, it's very hard to talk about it. And it I guess it reflects a, a broader kind of movement in the media to just randomly pick statistics and supposedly do studies, and then just say some numbers. Um, and it's, of course, one in five British Muslims sympathise with Jihadi, apparently. Now, I don't really know where to start with the problem. <laughs> Me and you and which of us is it? That's what we know. It's like what five? It's going to be one. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's hard to pick one of the problems. Uh, obviously, we don't know how they came to this number. We don't know um, what happened to the other seventy-five percent or whatever it is of people who go studies. We don't really know what sympathy means. We don't even know 
know what Jahani means because when they fight right in there against them. Who knows? Uh, I guess that's what the Sun were trying to, trying to achieve when they did this. And we should also shame um, Salvation, who did the study as well. Um, also helping to produce trash. Um, yeah, so the winner of the second Shit to the Shit is the political editor of the Sun, um, Tim, Tim Newton Dunn. Tom. Tom Newton Dunn, even. I had to say something wrong again. <laughs> um, for, uh, yeah, one in five Brit Muslims, Cynthia Vigiani. And next up to present the prize for the winner of the Trashies Public Votes 2016. So we have the is the one that I voted for, which I'm, I'm kind of happy about. I think when I when I saw this, I was dumbfounded at how anyone could make this story, make this picture, try and say that somehow Islam was raping Europe, despite the fact that we bomb. Um, Iraq, we bomb Libya, we bomb Afghanistan, we drive Pakistan and Yemen, somehow it's Muslims who are raping Europe. When refugees are fleeing the consequences of decisions that have been made in the West, it's somehow Muslims who are raping Europe. And somehow again it's the white woman that has to be defended from brown and black men. Of course. And this is not new, this is an old trope about how the savage brown and black men you know, need, are so dangerous that we must save our women from them. But I want to say, as well as this piece horrifying me beyond belief, this piece was an, an education for me. Because I think as, as a woman of colour, I've always been an anti-racist, I've always thought I've understood racism. But I realised, I think, in this past year, year and a half, two years, and this, to me, was a catalyst that I've never really understood in my mind anti-black racism. I've never really understood the psychology of what it's like to be battered every day, every day. Every newspaper, everything you open tells you you're bad, you're wrong. There's something about you that has to be changed. You're wrong, you're uncivilized. And I, it made me appreciate that I, even though I've been an anti-racist my entire life, I don't think I've really understood anti-black racism until I started experiencing Islamophobia the way it is now. Um, so, as much as I hate it, it's taught me something, and it's made me more determined than ever to fight it. So, I am happy to put this in the shredder as the winner of the Trashies, because it's taught me something, and I'm more determined than ever to fight it. So, we'll see you later. Fantastic. So next up we have Sunny Singh who's going to present the Turbo Trash Prize as she will explain what that is. Yeah. That is the Turbo Trash Prize. Ah, I have my phone here. Bear with me. Um, can't take me away from my phone. It's got all the good information about what the Turbo Trash Prize is. Um, it's a new prize. Now, I, I just want to say, this is the second year I'm here presenting a prize. I'm very proud of it. I have my black tie dress <laughs> waiting for the day we do this at Wembley Stadium. <laughs> because we will be doing it. There's enough stuff out there. So, um, the trashies, the, the turbo trash. The Turbo Trash Prize is a special, special prize. It's very close to my heart, and it takes into account post-tragedy reporting and comic articles. Now, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, who know me, you know that my Twitter feed is death and destruction, and it's not a pleasant place to be. <laughs> Having said that, I take the idea of bearing witness very, very seriously. It's always been important for me, and to see this kind of racist, homophobic, sexist, 
nasty and frankly unethical journalism masquerading as serious comment is disgusting. It has real world consequences and I know that I'm now being a little bit serious so bear with me. Um, it has real world consequences for a lot of us who have to then walk down the streets. And let's be very clear, um, anti-blackness impacts all of us even when we're not black. Just as Islamophobia impacts all of us even when we're not Muslims. And anti-Semitism impacts all of us. Even when we're not Jewish. So frankly, one form of bigotry is our spot of fear. And either we stand against all of it, or we're part of it. And we're implicit. So the term I try prize is judge, unlike the other prizes, which are popular both. And it's him in brown. Selena John Mohammed, Afwa Hirsch, and Hussein Kasbani, Kasbani who judged it. Um, there were quite a lot of great, disgusting pieces that came out. The nomination list is on the universe by Look It Up. It's, it's, it's quite a spectacular one. But I think this one that really pulls it together very well. And that's Douglas Murray. Woo! A terrorist attack has happened. It's pretty impressive. So let's shred that one first. If it works, can we shred it? Little. Um, <laughs> there we go. I That's the award. Yeah. Woo! 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 Um, again, it was a public vote, um, a popular vote, and um, I, having known who voted, uh, well, not who voted, but... Uh, <laughs> Fix! <sorry. laughs> no, come on! Um, no, having known who the runners-up are, I will tell you at least the second runner-up, who was the Guardian newspaper. Yeah. And I know people love Twitter. No! Oh, new statesman has been nominated for the trash. These people are crazy, you know. I mean, it's, it's a matter of there's all sorts of subtle things that go on, not so subtle, whatever. Um, so the Guardian were second, second runner up. For, I mean, this is a prize that's looking at uh, publications that in some way pe perpetuate uh, racism, xenophobia, and um, Islamophobia, uh, which Basically, all across the spectrum, they all have at some point in the last calendar year. However, the public decided that the winner of the UK publication of the year, Trashies 2016. Yay! Easy, easy, easy. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to try, I'm going to try and shred this. There's an awful lot of racism. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, we do like Ronnie, but I mean, even look at this. Uh, this Poor Ronnie! This uh, headline Spivs and Cronies, good God. Anyway, we're going to shed the Daily Mail.
I'm just gonna have to stop. Shredder is a lady, but they should be all gone. <laughs> ah, it's unshredding things. It's putting stuff back together. Spirit is strong. Spirit is strong in this. Yeah. <laughs> Don't press reverse. You'll end up with Rod Little sitting there. And here is the very well deserved prize.